Hello everyone, welcome to another session of Solution Classes. Today we are discussing about some multiple choice based questions of Geography Entrance Examination. Now, let's move to the question. So the question is, what is Isthmus? Option A, the mouth of a river where it joins the sea. Option B, a narrow strip of sea dividing to oceans. Option C, a narrow strip of land joining to larger land areas. And option D, a piece of projected land. So in this question, the answer is option C. That means a narrow strip of land joining two larger land areas. Isthmus is a narrow, basically a narrow strip of land which joins two large um, landmarks. It separates two large water bodies as well as, and the example of a uh, isthmus we can say the isthmus of Panama, which is present in Central America. So I can uh, write here the example of the isthmus is the isthmus of Panama which is present in Central America now let's go for the next question now the question is the which of the following is the location of a point on the globe that is as antipodal to 65 degree north latitude and 30 degree east longitude Option A, the 65 degree north latitude and 30 degree west longitude. Option B, 30 degree south latitude and 65 degree east longitude. Option C, 65 degree south longitude and 150 degree west longitude. And option D, 30 north latitude and 65 degree west longitude. Now, if a line joining a place with its antipodal point passes through the centers of the earth, that means if it is an earth, here as a place and here is a place the line is joining antipodal point so the line is go like this like a equatorial belt it is diametrically opposite to the original place example if you are in the northern hemisphere like you are present in the northern hemisphere okay then your antipode will be the in the southern hemisphere or if we, do, if we draw like in this, this is two poles, then the dividation will be that. And if you are in the western hemisphere, then your antipode will be in the eastern hemisphere. Likewise, in this the latitude will be the same, but longitude will be subtracted by 180 degree. Because antipodes are always 180 degree of longitude away. So, I will write this. In this, the latitude will be the same. So, the latitude will be the same. But the longitude always subtracted. by 180 degree so if we want to find the antipode of 65 degree north latitude and 30 degree east longitude it will be the 65 degree south latitude so I need to find so it will be the 65 degree south latitude and 150 degree west longitude why because i must subtract it 180 degree with minus 30 degree the answer is 150 degree so in this question the option c the 65 degree south latitude because they have said the 65 degree north latitude so I have the answer the antipode the 65 degree south latitude and 30 degree east longitude so we subtracted 180 degree by 30 and the answer is 150 degree longitude west longitude so it is the answer so let's go for the another question the question is that which of the following is formed once the sea arch collapses the options were sea cave C stack, 
wave cut beach and wave cut cliff now first you must want to know what is a sea arch basically a sea arch is a natural opening eroded out of a cliff face by marine processes so if it is a sea the sea arch is look like this and is the sea so when a sea arch is naturally eroded and uh, by the way we have some action or something sea arch is collapsed it forms a two sea stalks and that means the answer is the b sea stalk and the sea stalks are stacks are uh, look like this look like in the beaching condition it may be look like this or we can say the sea a stalk or sea stalk is a geological lead from land from consisting of a steep and often vertical column or columns of rock in the sea near a coast must it near a coast all this formation occurred near a coast because all this structure is formed by the action of wave hope this video will helpful for your preparation thanks for watching us